This is the Cabo Wolf Warrior GT, and it's just broken two performance records. Fastest production scooter on the planet and longest tested range ever. In this full review, we'll reveal its top speed and range, plus major upgrades that make the Wolf King GT a state-of-the-art, high-performance bargain. The original Cabo Wolf Warrior 11 was voted the best beast scooter in the world. Then came the Wolf King, basically a gold Wolf Warrior with more power, bigger brakes, and a much higher top speed. When the Wolf King GT arrived, we were expecting a slightly faster Wolf King, but we were wrong. Compared with the Wolf King, the GT is a very different beast. Let's see what's changed. Upgrade number one, speed and acceleration. With an ESG certified top speed of 61 miles per hour, the GT breaks the Wolf King's record for fastest production scooter. Except for racing scooters like the Rion and the S1X, you just can't go faster standing up. And you certainly can't go faster than this for $3,600. While top speed is only 1.6 miles per hour higher than the Wolf King, the GT's acceleration is a massive step up due to new sine wave motor controllers pushing 50 amps each. These help the Wolf King GT reach 30 miles per hour 29% faster than the Wolf King. Upgrade number two, range. The King GT also went 59% further than the King on the ESG range course, setting a new range record of 55 miles due to its huge LG battery and efficient sine wave controllers. It can literally cover more urban miles on one charge than most riders can handle. And because it comes with two chargers, Cabo claims that the King GT can be ready to do it all again seven hours later, perfect for long commutes. As with other scooters, you shouldn't use the battery's percentage to calculate your remaining miles. You'll notice in this photo that at 50 miles, my display still indicated 29% battery remaining, but less than five miles later, it was at 0%. Pro tip, it's better to use the voltmeter instead. The Zoom hydraulic brakes bring the King GT to a stop from 15 miles per hour in an impressive 10 feet, edging out all three of the comparison scooters. The Wolf King and King GT are the only scooters we know of to use three millimeter thick rotors, making them much more resistant to bending and warping. Upgrade number three, progressive throttle control. While slower scooters allow you to treat the throttle like an on-off switch, powerful scooters like the Wolf King require a steady hand and total concentration to ride smoothly. With 8,400 watts of peak power, the Wolf King GT should be impossible to ride, but it's not. The Wolf King GT's thumb throttle and sign drive controllers give you smooth, progressive throttle control, even in full performance mode. This makes it easy to ride at low speeds, especially if you use the ESG anchor and rock thumb throttle technique to stabilize your thumb and eliminate the dead space at the beginning of travel. So now we're going to demo the difference in throttle response between the Wolf King and the Wolf King GT. This is the King here with a conventional square wave controller. I'm going to poke the throttle as gently as I can and we're going to see how it reacts. You can see it kind of jumps to life there. Now we're going to demo the sine wave controller on the Wolf King GT. I'm also going to poke this as gently as I can. Pretty different response, and you can definitely feel that when you ride. The controllers also made the ride exceptionally quiet. We bench tested the King GT against the King and found that the GT is 10 decibels quieter at full throttle. 83 decibels on the Wolf King. To the human ear, that's half as loud. Upgrade number four, stability. The Wolf King GT feels more comfortable at 60 miles per hour than most scooters do at 40. Dual stamp scooters are inherently more stable because the wide weight distribution gives the front end a larger moment of inertia than single stems. Adding the mass of motor controllers takes it to another level, making it the most stable scooter we've ever ridden. Upgrade number five, handlebar height. Cabo, what took you so long? For years, one of the most puzzling things about the big wolf scooters was the short handlebar height at just under 38 inches. Finally, the biggest beast scooter comes with our favorite handlebar height of 40 inches. Another surprising change is that the handlebars are a full 4.5 inches wider on the King GT than the King. For me, the bars are a little too wide, but let's see what Ray Mir thinks. Hey everyone, Ray Mir here with ESG. I'm gonna get straight to it. 
Not only is this big dog approved, this is the first scooter built that I felt in my soul was meant for me, the bigger, taller rider. Not only is it super fast in acceleration and all that, but the higher stem and the wider handlebars make it a joy to ride. Like it's comfortable, but not only is it comfortable when I'm at speed, I really, really feel like I can have fun. Like normally, if you look at my past videos, you can see me lightweight crouching as I ride. But with this one, I have a little bit more of an upright stance because of the higher stem and wider handlebars. Of course, you know, it's heavy, but that's expected. But to find out more, click on the ESG website and I'm out. Pia! Upgrade number six, puncture proof tires. This upgrade will be a game changer if it does what Cabo says. Unlike the Wolf King's pre-slime tires, Cabo claims the Wolf GT's tires are puncture proof. They have different markings on the side shown here, but look essentially the same. So there's really only one way to find out. Let's see what happens. So the new CST tires that come on the Wolf King GT claim to be puncture proof. Uh, we're gonna test that today. We're starting off with a regular Wolf King with the regular CST tires, and we're gonna measure how much force it takes to puncture this tire. And then once we're done with this, then we'll move on to the Wolf King GT. Now we're gonna check to see if it's leaking or not. Oh, it's still bubbling. So, okay, so now we're gonna test the Wolf King GT to see if A, the tires are puncture proof, and B, if we manage to puncture them, will they leak? Okay, so here's the puncture we made on the Wolf King GT, and let's see if it bubbles. Look at that. They're right, the air's not coming out. We call this one a mixture. The tires aren't puncture proof, but did self seal after being punctured. Upgrade number seven, water resistance. When we first saw these clips of Cabo's component testing, we couldn't believe our eyes. The dash, motor, and controllers were submerged for 10 days and were still functioning. The Wolf King GT's water resistance has leveled up from IPX4 to IPX5. Part of the upgrade included moving the motor controllers to a box attached to the forks, which also helps keep the controllers cool. Despite the high rating, Cabo still recommends staying out of heavy downpours. And if you do ride in the rain, you're gonna need to extend your fenders because that's one area that's not been upgraded. Upgrade number eight, world's best display. The dashboard isn't just water resistant. This 4.2 inch TFT display is bright, easy to read, and gives a whole new level of detail, including top speed, average speed, and the temperature of both motor controllers. You can also program the five gears to your riding preferences and change or eliminate the scooter's password. Upgrade number nine, forged end caps. In response to a small number of Wolf Warrior and Wolf King scooters suffering failures where the front axle connects to the forks, all Cabo Wolf scooters now come with forged aluminum end caps, which are stronger and lighter. Even with all of these upgrades, there are still a couple build quality improvements we'd like to see. The charging port covers are always in the way, and the chain for the security pin should probably be deleted altogether since it always breaks. We'd also love to see the GT get self-canceling turn signals. Overall, Wolf Warrior scooters have legendary build quality, and in that regard, this is the best Wolf yet. While the Wolf King GT is the world's best in many categories, it's at the opposite end of the spectrum when it comes to portability. The King GT is big, like other wolves, it's also challenging to fold and unfold, and it's heavier than you think. As part of our standard testing, we weigh all of our scooters, and we're surprised to find that the GT tips the scales at over 125 pounds, 10 pounds heavier than its specified weight, and over 13 pounds heavier than the measured weight of the Wolf King. The good news is that Chuck's one-person Wolf Warrior loading technique still works, but the wider handlebars mean it's gonna need just a little more space. Despite being the fastest, the Wolf King GT may also be the safest Cabo scooter yet. And that brings us to upgrade number 10, turn signals. Cabo took the scooter with the world's best headlights and added the world's best front turn signals. The high mounted turn signals are bright and you can see them from almost any angle. The tinted rear signals and brake light also look cool, but the dark lens makes them a little too dim. Other safety features include smooth throttle response, tall rider vantage point, deck lights to help you be seen, a super stable ride, and the second loudest horn we've ever measured. When riding any of the big wolf scooters, always check that your stem latch is tight, that the keeper is in place, and that the pin is secure. Also, watch out for the blade-like kickstand. This one's already bitten Ray Mir in the ankle. Ah! 
pros include fastest production scooter you can buy, longest tested range ever, best high-speed stability, excellent brakes, and the world's best lighting package. Cons include it's heavy, it's big, and seriously, it's really heavy. The Wolf King GT is definitely a bigger upgrade than we expected and is everything a flagship scooter should be. It's fast, it's absolutely state of the art. We would love to see this display, this level of water resistance and progressive throttle control on every next generation scooter. Let us know in the comments which upgrade is your favorite and which scooter you think is due for an update.